Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, it is Friday morning. We just got opened up. We've got a few bikes up on the lift and we already have our first headache. So if you look over here, we've got this green Indian trike with a California sidecar on it. Right here, absolutely beautiful motorcycle. On the bottom of the Indian, there are two drain plugs. Well, when Derek was pulling one drain plug out, the drain plug itself actually broke. The remainder of it is still in there. So don't know what we're gonna do. Customer's gonna have to go get a new drain plug and if it gets a new one, then I can try to extract it. But now I can't even find the customer, so we're trying to get him back. All right, it looks like the local Indian dealer had some of the drain plugs in stock, so we're sending somebody over there because I don't want to try to pull this one out until I know I've got a replacement because right now it is holding oil. It's probably going to leak because the crush washer isn't in place, but I didn't want to mess with it until we had a viable solution to repair it once we get that drain plug extracted out of there, if we even can. All right, it's that time of day to go ahead and start the motorcycle up. Today, we put Freedom in the fuel tank. Yep, if you guys don't know, we use the Wild Willys fuel fragrance. Today's aroma is Freedom. So it's time to get this thing started up and let it run all day. And for those of you that are new to the channel, you might notice at the end of every video, I always say, until the next time I see you, keep those engines running. And this is why, while we're at Rally, this motorcycle sits here and runs all day long from the time we open to the time we close to prove how well the love jugs and the ample synthetic lubricants will stop that bike from overheating. So sometimes up to 14 hours a day, idle time, and it never overheats. If you like your Harley and you want it to last, love jugs and Amsoil, those two things will really protect it. Yep. All right guys, today we got Lance and Debbie with us. They are subscribers and they stopped by and we did a service on their bike and they've got an absolutely beautiful brand new trike here. This was the thousand mile service that you guys got yeah. a thousand miles on it already. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Well, there's health thing I had over door. I couldn't go up on a week, week after I bought it and I had to go get over the door. Um, sorry to hear that. Well, we really appreciate you guys coming by. Now I'm living. I'm going to always come see you. All right, sounds good. Thank Life you guys. Awesome. 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 guys we got the new drain plug so this is what the new one should look like and here you can see where the old one had broken right where the flange goes on top so you see how small the material is there when they're over tightened it doesn't take much to break them
Well guys, it is now about five o'clock in the afternoon. You can see things are definitely slowing down. Around quarter to four, four o'clock, it pretty much died off pretty quick. Um, you know, we got in the weeds a little bit earlier because we had the bike with the drain plug that was a problem and a couple of Joe installs that had aftermarket horns that were a little bit more challenging to do. So it did put us, you know, five or six bikes in the weeds, but we got caught up pretty quick. And uh, now they're just kind of slowly trickling in one at a time, which is good. But we have already beat last year's sales by a pretty good bit. And remember last year we were so excited because we beat the year before sales. So we're off to a good start. Yesterday we did better too. So it's too early to say how the show is going to turn out. So we're not getting our hopes up. We're not going to count our chickens until they hatch. But it's a good sign for things to come. If the weather stays this beautiful and the people come, it should be a really good bike week. guys may know Jerry. He and I have been friends for a long time. Well, this is his wife and uh, she is going to try and do her own oil change. So yeah, it's ladies night here at Extreme Bikes. Do it yourself. Holly, why do you want to do your own oil change? Because I want to learn. I want to be a family client. You just want to be an empowered woman or that's something? That's right. I want to be an empowered woman. Hi guys, 7.30 at night and we're still finishing up the last motorcycle. Now we did a full oil change service on it, but this motorcycle actually came in, they towed it in because they had something wrong with their clutch and they couldn't get it to work. So Chip and I started from scratch. We had to take the primary uh, side apart, the derby cover, not the whole primary side. I said that wrong. Uh, we also had to take the transmission side apart because the ball and ramp setup was messed up. The clutch cable was like separated and not getting the right pull and the slop and the thing. Basically we had to start from scratch and reset everything. Took us about an hour or so, but I think we got it all fixed. Chip's just finally buttoned it up and then we'll take it for a rip in the parking lot, road test, make sure it all works. And then uh, hopefully we can close everything down and go get something to eat, because I am hungry. I think we're doing cheddars tonight. You guys know we love cheddars too. I know, we're fat kids, we love everything, don't we? Hi right, guys, dinner at Cheddar's was fantastic. Now I'm over at Wawa, had to top off the bike with some fuel for tomorrow anyways, and uh, my evening cup of joe. Tired, it was, it was a busy day. We definitely beat sales, so that was a good thing. guys back at the speedway ready to get settled down for the night but before we close this video i gotta ask you guys to do me a favor you guys remember my son i've been trying to get him to start a youtube channel for a while even back when we were doing the whole moving truck thing well he's finally been doing it and he's been staying pretty consistent with it and i told him that if he got at least so many videos out and uh stay consistent with it then when we got the bike week i would give a shout out and say we get some of you guys to follow him so most of his content recently has been like working on the dirt bikes in the shop and fixing his car and stuff like that. He's, uh, he's kind of enjoying doing it and having some fun. Now, I do have to warn some of you, remember the young guys, their sense of humor is a little bit different than ours. So some of it can be a little on the crass side. So if you're easily offended, you may not want to watch it, but just, just be warned. I mean, they're just being silly and goofy, but you know, in this day and age, not everybody's into that. So go check it out. Um, put a link right here. Here's his, right there. That's going to be his uh, YouTube page. And uh, just go give it a try. Give us some views. Let's see if we can get him up to like at least a monetization status. Let's try to get him a thousand subscribers really quick and get some watch time in there. Um, I think that might help motivate him to do a little bit more. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed opening day here at Daytona Beach Bike Week. And until the next time I see you, which will be tomorrow, by the way, keep those engines running. Good night, y'all.